Our latest Five on Your Side investigation could impact anyone taking care of an elderly loved one or you if you are getting Social Security. Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh tells us about one local man's persistent battle against the Social Security Administration and what a law expert says about your rights. This money, John, belongs to us the Social Security recipient. Don Wright is nothing if not passionate. It's our money. About his mission to now help others. Do you think many people know about this? No. No. That is sad. Don is from Akron. He was married to a woman for 16 years. They divorced. Later, she passed away. Fast forward to 2009. Don tells us he was talking about his Social Security benefits with a guy from the Akron office. He said this famous statement, well, who do you want to collect your benefits from? Don says the man offered him either his own benefits or his ex-wife's benefits. What he should have said was, well, you know, you're entitled to collect your survivor widower's benefits first. It wasn't until 2016 when some friends told Don, hey, you might want to look into those survivor benefits. Don tells us from that first meeting with the Akron office in 2009 until 2016, he was entitled to seven or eight years of survivor benefits and more. He got a message from an attorney's office on his answering machine. They probably gave you the six months to a year, which is what they would be able to do, and there's really nothing else. There's nothing else we can do. Six months to a year of benefits. The average person would think, well, Social Security said, you're done. There's no way in the world you can get anything else. Well, that's not true. We found in the Social Security Code of Federal Regulations, there's an admission that agents may have given you misinformation about your eligibility for such benefits, which caused you not to file an application at that time. It even gives examples which are similar to Don's claims. You don't always get that correct answer right off. Marsha Margolius is a Social Security law expert who works in Cleveland. We have to encourage people continuously to persevere, to follow up on their rights. Marsha told us she's experienced plenty of Social Security roadblocks. It's a weeding out sort of a policy where Social Security may take the attitude of, if you're serious and if your claim is legitimate, you're going to keep going. Is it a strategy by Social Security? I wouldn't go that far but you've seen to it say a it's a strategy, but I, but I have seen it a lot. Don says another hurdle was when Social Security actually gave him a list of lawyers to help him through the process. He wrote letters to those attorneys only to have many returned to sender. Address vacant, no such number, not deliverable. And I kept getting all these dead ends and nobody to help me. Five on your side investigators contacted the Social Security Administration. A representative said if Don signed a consent form, then the rep could talk to us about Don's case. Well, he did that. However, later the rep respectfully declined an interview and sent a statement that said in part, they will continue to look into the allegations we have raised. Meanwhile, a lot of senior citizens need to get their ears open right now at what I'm telling you. Through Don's tenacity, he settled with Social Security and is getting some of the money he's owed. And after that mess with the lawyer assistance program, Don is now representing himself in court for the other funds he says he deserves. Don, though, tells us there have been more roadblocks during that process as well. Social Security needs to do a better job to inform the people and they need to do a better job now. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh. And we have the entire statement from Social Security that includes general information about widow and widower benefits. We have all those, all those links to the frequently asked questions for you and also some more information on the Social Security law expert. Don says two forms are essential for you to fill out correctly for survivor benefits. All of that is on our News 5 app.